Jason, good to see all of you on this Friday on Broke Baldwin. We begin with breaking news here just into us as we've learned of three people now missing because of a plane crash into... Now to this awful story, this horrifying Facebook post that has caused uh, a lot of shock, a lot of outrage for us today. And I mean, it's disgusting it all the get way around. To look at that photo. Yeah. Who is this guy? He's a self-help uh, e-book publisher and author. He wants his readers, he said, to find the true meaning of life. So a very ironic twist uh, considering his alleged actions. So he puts this, apparently, this picture of his dead wife on Facebook. How yeah. long was that photo up? See, now here's where criticism is going and directed at Facebook. It okay. was without saying people are blaming them for perpetuating this image because unless you were friends with a guy, friends of friends or friends with his wife. Why would you, you do anything with this picture? Well, you wouldn't have seen the photo, but right. some people, believe it or not, they shared it over 150. Awful. Um, Nick Valencia, thank you very much. You bet. And now, coming up next is a story that has everyone talking. We have been misled for decades about medical marijuana. That is CNN, Dr. Sanjay Gupta's stunning conclusion after reporting and reading research, uh, you know, getting all this information together for just about a year. This new documentary uh, may make you rethink what you thought about weed. And Sanjay's sitting next to me here in the studio. And I read your op-ed yesterday. I, I watched you on Piers. I said, holy cow, this is the good doctor <laughs> apologizing and changing his mind. Why? Well, you know, I think part of this is, you know, when, when you want to, and very few, about 6%, I found, were actually designed to look at benefit. And I realized it sort of was giving a very distorted image. And that sort of led us, you know, out of the country, looking in other, other countries like Israel and Spain. And, I, and, I, and that's why I was so critical of medical marijuana in the past. But there are legitimate patients who have legitimate problems who, for marijuana, works for them and nothing else does. In fact, let me give you just a quick... Yeah, quick less than a minute, you can tell. Yeah, I mean, and, you know, this is a guy who had been in the ICU. He's been seen by plenty of doctors, was on several different medications, including narcotrain was important. It was a high CBD strain, they call it, and low THC. THC is the stuff that gets you high. CBD is the stuff that has the more medicinal quality. So, you know, there's different strains for different things as well. But so there is this teeny tiny caveat because we talk all the time. You're a dad, not just a yeah. doc. Um, and as a dad, you um, wouldn't exactly say to your girls that it's okay to try this stuff until their brains, what, are fully formed. Yeah, I mean, look, I, I don't... Mm -hmm. The mid-20s sort of thing came from because that's really when brain development really comes to a stop, sort of mid-20s, not 18 or 21. One, those are all sort of arbitrary that mm -hmm. but I also don't want the the counter of that which is say because of those concerns legitimate patients can't get a treatment that could alleviate their suffering that shouldn't be the trade-off here and I, I'm not sure exactly what the answer is mm -hmm. but I, the fact that we can't give people the treatment that they need that we know can work I don't think that's responsible it's incredible and I can't wait to watch your documentary so it's called weed this is uh, dr. Gupta's fascinating documentary it airs Sunday night 8 o'clock Eastern. Set your DVRs, watch it live, 8 o'clock Eastern, only here on CNN. Sanjay, thank Thanks you very much. Brooke. We appreciate, appreciate it. it. Coming up. <music> Enforcement, they're meant to serve and protect, right? Well, one family in Georgia says they needed protection from the officers that came to their door just last month. Deputies from DeKalb County, Georgia, that's in the Atlanta area, had a warrant for this mother. Eight of them showed up at this front door at 1.30 in the morning last month, pounding on the door. Family says they tried to, to, to figure out why the uh, deputies were there in the first place. They even picked up the phone and called 911 got no specifics. So for more than 40 minutes, the mom decides to open the door but is terrified as far as what would happen next. And what was her warrant for? Not murder, not drugs, but an overdue court fee. A thousand bucks. Watch. Them cursing. We hear them threatening to tase people. Your voice sort of comparing it to, to that of the, the deputies, very calm. Right. What's going on? At one point, you know, there, I've watched this whole video. You're, you're, you know, doing the, the Lord's Prayer. You're praying. You're, you're crossing yourself. You, 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 you said you thought you could die. I absolutely did. Why? I felt like this because we back and forth with the police department in DeKalb County. They've done nothing but attempt to cover okay. it up. So you're frustrated. This is a separate incident. Uh, CNN hasn't confirmed that. This is just according sure. to you. Let me end this by saying quickly, what are you doing with this tape? Do you, are you doing anything legally with this? Absolutely. We want the professional conduct and professional ethics. 
They're not following the standards and procedures set forth for the police. We cannot trust them to police themselves. If they feel like they're justified in their actions, let the federal government come in and look. Let the Department of Justice come in and investigate what was done. Ten seconds. Do they have a case? Well, I don't know. I mean, yeah. we, it's too soon to really tell. Okay. It looks really bad on this tape. The question is whether or not they were excessive. They certainly look like bullies. And, uh, you know, in the public, court of public opinion, it really looks bad. Natanya Donovan. Quickly, Team Tunney. Let's make no mistake. They say already. And they weren't and, looking uh, for you, though. Again, uh, DeKalb County Sheriff says it was not excessive force when they came in the house. Just their side. They're investigating. Guys, thank you very much. We'll see where this goes. Stay thank in you touch kindly. with us. Thank you. And now, coming up, we're minutes away from a news conference from the president. President